Right oh, through, shit. Right. Oh, I showed you how to go... Fuck. <laughs> Good morning, good morning, good morning. We're back, baby. My freezer is most of the time always full. Right now it's about three quarters full. Today I'm gonna show you how we actually fill it up. We're gonna do things a little bit different today, slightly different. Usually we use a big holding net. I'll have a video coming for it, coming out for that shortly, showing you guys how we use the holding net. But today we're gonna use the cast net, the eight foot pearl. Go around the shoreline and show you how to throw the cast net fill up some buckets of bait, and then come back to the butt dock, bag it up, and store it. All right, so something exciting. You guys haven't really seen this yet. This is the car I just bought. It cost me $13,000 to buy. It has a lot of space in it, so whenever I need to transport my fish and stuff like that. What did I tell you about drinking when you drove? I'm sorry, I won't do it again. <laughs> If you look over the wall, this is what we're after. This is cold hug mouth fry, so I'm gonna go down to the dock, get a little bit closer so I can show you guys. Alrighty, so first and foremost, cast net. What you want to do first, you want to put the strap around your arm, get that rope together so it's basically only a small ball in your hand. Lift the net as high as you can. And lift the net out the bucket. And then what I like to do is hold it right about chest tight, fold it at about chest tight. So as you can see, now you're looking like this. Everything's nice and neat. Now you're going to go from the bottom, right where your closest part to you. You're going to put this in your mouth. And you're going to go about four feet Oh, put the next part in your mouth so you got two parts in your mouth. Take the outer side of the net and then you're going to go in a drone motion like this. Get a nice cast. And hooches. And we got some nice fresh bait. All right, and then what you want to do from here, drop the net over the bucket, put the weights in the bucket. And lift directly up from the top of the net. There's nothing but some nice fresh bait. And there we go. Some nice fresh pug mouth fry. Whenever you see anything left, if you're using anybody else's property, please make sure to clean it up. Make sure there's no bait left over. I don't even see them. Look at that. This one we got a bit of pilchers. Look at all the pilchers. <laughs> Look at the live well. Nice. Let's go. Beautiful. Alrighty, so we got some nice black bait. On the tip of the sand out here, Bruce is gonna show us how you do it again. There's two in the teeth. Take an arm length away. Opening the net by making like a, a frisbee motion. Like that. Here we go. Here goes nothing. Okay. That is a nice cast, Bruce. Let's see what you got. Probably best cast of the day. Alrighty guys, we just wrapped up our first spot. Three quarters of the bucket of some nice fresh bait. And always we bring some ice. Keep our bait nice. Good quality. Bang. What's going on, Dick? So, so basically just time hook on. As you see, we've been getting bait earlier. Put up to the next spot. And we got some mackerel pull up. I'm gonna try and catch something. Let's go. Hooked up. <laughs> 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 we got a screamer. 
Flip, flip, flip. <laughs> Whoa, he's fat. Look at this. Nice little, well, we call these mackerel in Bermuda. This is what we call a mackerel. Pretty sure you guys out there call it a bonita, but look how pretty he is. Look how fat he is. What we are going to do, we're going to keep this. So basically, the next calm day offshore, we'll use these for, to catch, you know, black rock fish, tuna, wahoo, all those, cut nice strips out of it. So this is a nice little bonus for the day. Let's go. <laughs> oh, so I like it. All right, ladies and gents, we're back at the crib. I'm Brucey. Is messing with our pets and he can't catch one. <laughs> Alrighty, let's show you this process real quick. Let's get this done. The easiest way we find to do it is you got your basket here full of holes, a little bit beat up. Don't worry about that. Get your buckets of bait out of the cooler, but it's full of ice. Now, this is good for the preservation of the bait, but when you're bagging it up, this is something you don't want. You don't want to put your bait in bags with all of this ice gonna bring the quality way down once the bait's frozen because water water in the bags is not good it takes a lot longer to freeze so what Bruce is doing now is just getting some fresh salt water fresh salt water <laughs> <laughs> pour the salt water straight over the bait just like that and as you can see that melts a good bit of the ice cleans the bait out and we're gonna probably do this three or four times and as you can see each time less and less ice the bait gets nice and clean get your ice scooper and so your dad doesn't kill you or my dad doesn't kill me put a plastic bag over it and that way once you're done you just take the plastic bag off and everything's nice and clean about one scoopful in the bag bang that's one bag done so i'm gonna do here in the sun bag on the table come up here press down get all the air out and then come up the bag spin the bag twist about 10 times now you got this tied at the very top and now what you're gonna do Spread the fry out in the bag as much as possible. And that's why you tie it at the top. And this way it freezes easier. Pretty. Bang. And that is a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. We um, ended up with about 20 bags of bait. Nice and tied up. End product. If you guys enjoy the video, like and subscribe as usual and have a great day go catch yourself some bait my time to roll i ain't never quitting if you want it go and get it they don't need you out pops always told me since a youngin that to lose